So the whole idea of like traveling, probably simple and on a budget was something that I had been thinking of and dreaming of for a really long time. And I told a lot of people about it and they thought I was kind of crazy. A lot of them laughed at me um, because I was like, well, you could just, you know, you don't have to like save up and go on a cruise or a flight or you could just like sleep in the car. So I did some trips like that and I don't know, it made sense to me and I was like, it sounds good to me. I'll do that. Yeah. So I, want, I want to explore. When we, when things. we met, um, I think I probably was talking about that kind of stuff already. And then we did some trips together, you mm. know, just. She took me on like a 10 day trip and we, I like passed out like through half of it because we were doing so much stuff. Yeah. I was exhausted. I had a whole plan. I had to show him how awesome it could be. So I had to like irk the car so he'd wake up over She'd there. She'd like drive overnight and <laughs> I'd be like, oh, I'm so, I'm so tired. Yeah, but, but I showed him how did, like, amazing 10 states in 10 days. stuff is and how much more there is to see. So, yeah, so it was my dream. But, um, but yeah, so we started talking about it pretty early on after meeting. But in terms of really manifesting like what we do now, to be honest, we didn't know we were going to live like this forever. So I can't say we knew that. We just knew that we wanted to like, we wanted to do some travel and that it was going to be simple. Um, so probably by, I don't know, definitely the year we met by that December, we were talking about stuff. Um, and by that spring, we, we tore the car apart and built a bed in the back and the following, that was like within a year of meeting, yeah. we were, we were on the road. Um, unbeknownst to us that this was going to turn into a lifetime. Yeah. At the time I wasn't signing up for living in my car my whole life. We thought we were going to like travel for a while and then buy a house and settle down in homestead and go off grid. And I was like, oh, that's going to be awesome. And then in the meantime, awesome we'll do this too. part. I'm like, I yeah. can do that for like six months. That'd be fun. We'll go up yeah. to Alaska. And then we got the house and we're like, oh, never mind. The car was actually better. So the house was, and cool, was in the but escape. nowadays, yeah, the freedom was not all there with that. So this gives us the most freedom. Um, so it just kind of turned into this. So kind of new pretty early on, but kind of manifested into this. So yeah. I never dreamed of living in my car when I was a kid, so it was definitely her decision. And all the guys always ask me, like, how'd you get her to do that? And I'm like, it was her idea. She's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to be free and, and explore, and this lifestyle gives us all those opportunities, so. <laughs> yeah, when you meet the right person, it clicks really fast, and then you're just like, all right, let's just go. So, yeah. that's pretty much what we did. Yeah, six months. Yeah, yeah, less than a year, and we were on the road. Now for good. <laughs> yep. Well, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.